happy day if it's your birthday. Um, we're going to learn happy birthday. Uh, I wrote out the uh, intervals of the notes uh, for happy ber birthday. We're not playing the chords to happy birthday. We're just going to play the, the melody notes. And it starts on a five, ends on a one. Uh, ones are, you know, the roots of whatever key that you're, you're playing in. And in this uh, <clears throat> video, we're going to play a G chord using the C shape. What does that mean? You finger your C chord, you learned the first day you learned how to play guitar. And um, I would suggest learning it without the index finger and move all the other fingers to those positions. Now we're going to slide that up to the where your pinky is on the 10th fret. And there you have a G chord in the uh, C form. And just like uh, the other C chord, your root is going to be on the 5th string and on the 2nd string. Those are where your root notes are, in this case, G notes. Now, um, it's good to know where your 1s are. You're going to use them, and it's good to know where their neighbors are. Um, so the, the more you learn who your neighbors are, the easier it is going to be to navigate around through these uh, chord shapes and scales. So, um, just briefly, the 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 one that you're finding on the fifth string at the tenth fret, its neighbor to the fourth string tenth fret is the four. Its neighbor to the sixth string 10th fret is the neighbor 5 and if you know where neighbor 4 is on again on the uh, D string 10th fret 3 and 4 are right next to each other a half step apart 3's 4 just going down half step to 3 well, hey, two would be a whole step. That's where that whole step, whole step, half step. Three and four is that half step. A little formula that you were taught to learn. Major scale formula. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Three, four. It's also between seven and eight or seven and one or one and seven. So those are your, your two half steps. They just happen to be right next to each other here on the strings. One and seven, four and three. So once you know that, uh, it's a little different from this guy on the D string at the seventh fret. That's your other root uh, due to the tuning between G and B. Um, uh, the um, four is in the same spot because there's no difference in tuning between those two strings. But the five, as opposed to being right on the same fret, it's a half step lower. Okay, again, that's due to that tuning. So, and then your seven, half step lower from the root. So familiarize yourself with this particular shape and where the roots are. Because now playing happy birthday is going to be a lot easier. We're going to hit our five. So five, five, six, five, one. That's our root. Half step. That's our seven. Okay. Five, five. Six, 
five, two, one. five five and you see that little arrow that's taking us to the next five the 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 higher up octave five so again we go to where our one was located and we say hey that's right next door down half fret and there it is so we got the five I'm in the right position here. Three. One, two. Or that's actually one, seven, six. Four, four. Who's the next door neighbor of the one? The four. And let your ear figure it out if you can't find where it's at, but you know it's around there somewhere because kind of let your ear find it. So there you go. Happy birthday.